previously on the Ultimate Iron Man series. After completing the Chambers of Zarek, we've spent the last month or so consuming all of the loot we got from around 800 KC. We got 96 construction from all the planks we got, 99 fletching from the giant mole grind we had to do. And in this video, we work towards getting level 99 Herblore, the most notorious 99 to get on a self-sustaining account. So if that's not worth a subscription, then I don't know what is. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. We got a good one for you. In order to get 99 Herblore, we're going to be needing a lot of Herblore secondaries. So we're sort of passively farming these Herblore secondaries while training agility here. We're going to need 7,000 of the Potato Cactus, Limpworts, and White Berries. So this might take a while. I just realized that we're actually at, we hit like 15 million farming XP a little bit ago. Just from like farming all of these herbs and like getting all of these secondaries, there was like no trees or nothing, man. I, I really didn't think we'd be like getting that much XP post 99 uh yeah it's just kind of a nice little thing that happened there and i wanted to share that so there you have it hey there is the whiteberry seed went ahead and just thieved that one real quick from the master farmers the reason for that is because we're actually only using three of our five bush patches and i actually want to go ahead and start using all five of those so we're going to come over here to acteria plant one I think there's one right over here. Yeah. We're running out of limpwort seeds, so we're definitely not going to get our 7,000 goal for limpwort roots. So we'll just have like, you know, a thousand extra quorms hanging around after this. And we're only at 4,900 white berries at the moment. So this will probably save us like maybe one or two days of farming in the long run. According to my calculation, we're actually 435,000 experience off of 99 in terms of all the uh, herblores and herblore secondaries that we have banked already. So we're not even going to end up using all of the uh, herbs that we have, but by adding two more bush patches, like I mentioned, it'll probably take off one or two days of farming because we do have 7,000 catentines to get. And since we can't get 7,000 quirms, we'll definitely be getting 7,000 catentines. I don't even know if that makes sense. It makes sense to me, but yeah. So there is, uh, now we got five white berry bushes planted. And yeah, since we're banking about, you know, I don't know, 25, 20,000 herbal or XP an hour in terms of the secondaries here, looks like we got about 20 hours left of agility, which means we'll probably get a level here. Maybe two, probably just one. I think the Marks of Grace end up being somewhere around like 4,000 Herbal XP per hour. So it's pretty low, but I am just happy to be doing this. And you know, hopefully it goes all right. Hey, that's pretty cool. Level 95 agility. Hey, it's also 2175 too, apparently. So that's pretty cool too. Hey, and I guess we're also at 3,000 laps. So that's also cool. Looks like we have around maybe two or three more days of farming at this point. I started only planting the limpwort seeds in the Karen patch because it doesn't die. So that way we can uh, just maximize the amount of limpwurts we're going to get from these last 19 seeds here. We do need 7,000 of all three of these. So yeah, maybe maybe two or three days. I I feel like it's probably going to be more than that, but I'm, I'm kind of down for two or three days. I'm not going to calculate it, but you know, when we're done, we're done. And yeah, 95 agility. Wait, what the hell? According to this extremely convoluted and probably wrong spreadsheet here, uh, apparently we already did this. Apparently we already have 99 herbal or banked. Um, and apparently we went quite a bit over. So yeah, hell yeah, dude. So, uh, hey guys, uh, how are you? This is now a 99 herbal or ultimate Iron Man with a Tebow. This is our final tally, 6,300 cactus, potato cactus, 6,200 limpwurts, and 6,100 white berries. Holy shit, man, we actually did it. Okay, let's go actually, uh, okay. Oh my god, dude, okay, I'm actually so excited to start this. Went ahead and converted all of those marks of grace into amylus. Oh my god, so what I did not account for was the fact that we have all of these herbs in the state of being grimy. So, this is like 40,000 herbs that I have to clean, which is going to be like a couple hundred thousand herbal XP. So I did not account for that, but now I have accounted for it. So I'm going to go ahead and start this process. The first one being the snapdragons, because those are probably the most annoying to deal with, which I'll get into right now. Okay, I got a little bit excited. We're actually not going to start with the snapdragon. We're going to start with these 6,000 aventos. I've been cleaning them for about 30 minutes and we're like a little more than halfway done. The aventos are actually a little bit more annoying than the snapdragons, so it's also occurring to me that they just like released a new spell called like degrime, I think. It like cleans the whole inventory of stuff in like one one tick. But I'm just like so excited to start Herbalor. 
and that requires that you do the quest to Kingdom Divided. And I really, uh, I just want to, I just want to do this. So that would probably be, make more sense to go do that quest, but I'm just going to do it this way for now. All right, time for the first cash deck depletion of many. I think these are 200 GP each, so that's going to be like a mil and some change. Big rip. So I have showed this method probably like twice on the channel so far. But since we're never going to be doing this again, I figure I'll just show you real quick. We use the Fairy Ring BKR from the POH. Come over here. There's a nice spot where you can get two of these guys. POH Tele using the Rune Pouch Home Teleport Runes. Come over to the Jewelry Box, Grand Exchange. And then we just drop half an inventory, unnote the unfinished potions, and then we uh, we make them. That's pretty much the entire method. I think this is going to be the only herbal or training thing that we're going to be doing where we have to gather the secondaries as we make them, which is a bit inconvenient, but it's pretty nice that we only have these ones to worry about because every other thing we already have the noted secondaries ready to go. And it's just right now occurring to me that this is probably going to take like a couple days just to get through these Aventos because I have 6,300 of these to go through, which is like more than I've ever done. And I'm pretty sure you can only do like a couple of hundred per hour, maybe like 500. So it's going to take a long time, man. But I, I really don't mind doing it. Training Herbler on a UAM is just so rare and satisfying. So let's do it, shall we? Hey, we got a new update. Oh my God, dude, it's combat. Combat Diaries are here. Combat Diaries. Oh baby, look at all this. Dude, collections logged. It tracks all your collection log stuff. Total XP. Oh my God, this is so cool. Time played? Damn, I've played for 204 days. That is 5,000 hours? What the hell? I didn't know I played that long. Wow. All right. Pretty sure I maxed my Iron Man in like 4,400 hours, so that's not ideal. Apparently, I already completed 39 tasks. Damn. Dude, this is so cool. It's like leagues, man. I love this interface. That's so awesome. Complete the Corrupted Gauntlet 200 times. We already have a Grandmaster task. We have a couple. Complete the Chambers 250. Damn. There is just so much stuff, dude. These rewards are pretty, pretty good. You can like view all the bosses and how much completed you are on all of them. Hey, I guess we already did the Mimic. But I am training some Herbalore and I'm going to be doing this for the next like 60 hours. So we'll probably get to combat achievements eventually, but not anytime soon. So, so you probably won't hear anything about combat achievements for the next, like, maybe month or so. But then I'll be doing it. I'll be doing it, man. Well, friends, looks like we managed to do it. It did take about 10 hours, but there's all the Avento potions converted into super energies. And now we probably get to start the most chill herbler training grind that you ever get to do on a UIM, which is making stamina potions. As you can see, we've got the amulet crystal here, and this is going to be super nice. For those of you who are astute mathematicians, you'll probably recognize that we don't have nearly enough amulets to consume all of the super energy. So I haven't actually really decided what I'm going to do with these yet. I feel like I'm probably just going to have like a stack of a couple thousand super energy hanging out in the looting bag for a while, but I might end up dropping it because I do have like more staminas than I know what to do with. So we'll get to making these staminas for now. And that will be a decision that we'll make someday in the future. This should be another level coming up right here. Hey, level 95 herb lore. That's a level. Didn't even unlock anything. That is a nice juicy level, man. Four more to go for level 99. Yay, looks like we are now done with all of our amulets, making all of our stamina potions. So it looks like we got around 10,000 doses of stamina. Not too bad, man. I think I pretty much decided I'm gonna go ahead and just hang on to all these doses of super energy for someday in the future if we ever wanna make staminas. I don't really think we're like too pressed for bag space at the moment. Just gonna have to drop all these potions here so I can get them in the right quantities. It's a little bit scary in case we DC, but there we go. All sorted out. Alrighty, so next up we are going to be doing some snapdragons. Got about 2,000 of these guys. And the method that we're going to be doing is super restores, which means we need red spider's eggs, which is why we're killing these spideens, because these give like somewhere between seven, 800 red spider's eggs an hour. We're using a pretty solid melee setup, just the elite void, blade of Salador, pretty standard. So it shouldn't take more than a few hours. I just leave ultimate strength on the whole time because we use the POH portal between each kill. It never really runs out. We just come over to the pool and we use the water birth teleport to get over to Relica so we can buy some more sardines from the fishmonger over here in the Relica market. Pretty simple method. Then we just unnote the rest of our red spider's eggs on the bank here and then we're ready to go back for another trip. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there is like one objectively easy to get upgrade that we could use for this setup. So this is actually something I've been meaning to do for a while now. Obviously we have the Blade of Salador and I guess recently they made it so you can change the fucking color of this thing. 500k. All right, I don't even know which one I want. I 
feel like black and white are probably the coolest, but also probably the most overused. Obviously, we don't want red because that's the one we've had for forever. I don't know, man. Yellow is stupid. No, I don't know why anyone would choose yellow. It's got to be between the blues and the green, maybe the purple. I'm probably going to end up changing this someday in the future, but I think I'm going to go with the black just because that really fits my sort of like flavor profile kind of nice. So I guess we just use this on here. Oh my god, that is so fucking cool, dude. <laughs> oh, holy shit. That is really fucking awesome. I love that. I think the black probably won't synergize well with like most gear setups, but with the void, it does look pretty sick, honestly. All right, and there it is. We got all of our red spider's eggs and all of our snapdragon potions unfinished, so we'll go ahead and start the process of converting these into super stores, which is actually a really useful potion to have. So that is just really nice. Yay, we are now all done with the super stores as well, man. We will probably use these at pretty much every like piece of major endgame PVM content. Snapdragons have always, are, and sort of always will be a hot commodity, so these are just really nice to get a big old stack of them. And yeah, so I just went ahead over to Hispori and grabbed the rest of all the super restores and the brews that we have since we're done making all of those. 10,000 super restores and 14,000 brew doses are now in the looting bag. That is definitely going to last us for quite a while. And so yeah, like I mentioned recently, we actually like kind of overshot 99 Herblor by quite a bit here. So we've got our 8600 grimy irrit leaves. That's going to be like 860k herbal XP. Pretty crazy. But I'm actually going to clean them with this guy. I'm going to pay 200 GP each. Wait, is that even worth it? What the hell? Okay. Uh, I was going to do it, but I guess that's 1.7 mil. Uh, uh, okay. I think, okay, never mind. Um, for some reason, I like didn't consider that. I thought it was like 50 GP each to clean it. We don't need this XP, but it probably, I guess it makes sense to go and clean it just because of how fast it is. I, I think we're just going to go ahead and clean these. The way I see it, every time we clicked an herb to clean it, we basically saved 200 GP. So now that we're all done with that, we can go ahead and spend the 1.7 mil big oof to convert them into unfinished potions. I think this is probably the biggest stack that we'll ever have on the account. Like the biggest stack of unfinished potions. Just around 8600, so that is pretty cool to see. This guy has been like asking his team to split for like the past like 10 minutes. And everyone else around him is saying that he's muted. So I think they're like trying to scam him. I feel bad. He just keeps saying split and they're like ignoring him. I don't I don't know what to do. Shout out to uh, WSN Bars for like cooling me down with these snowballs on this sweaty herbler grind. Hey, that's pretty cool. There's level 96 herblore. That's like the inverse of level 69. So I guess that's all the commentary I got. A million XP for the next level. And there it is, a couple days after we started, we are now all finished with the Irrits. This final little inventory of super attack potions, probably the last super attack potions we will ever make on this account. 25,000 doses of super attack. And we even have a bunch more still in here, 18,000, so 44,000 attack doses. Definitely never going to use all that. So next up, I think we're going to do the white berries and the catentines. You can probably tell where I'm going with this. Alright, so we cleaned all of our catentines here. We do have like, looks like 800 catentines left that we aren't going to be able to use. Or that we could use, but I don't think it makes sense to use them because it wouldn't help us get 99. It would be post 99. So, looks like that's about 1 mil. Uh, my main doesn't have members, so we're just going to drop that here. Hopefully someone finds it, and if they don't, then they don't. Actually, I did find someone in my clan to come take this because 1.2 mil on the ground sort of pains me. So, Thick James, this is all you, man. Time for another big rip to the cash stack. This one's going to be a 1.2 mil, I think. Yeah. And now we make them into potions. Should only take about a day or two. The irrits took like three days because there was 8,000 of them. But we did keep the super attacks in the inventory because after we do these, we'll be doing the super strengths and then we'll be making these super combats. So let's get to it, shall we? Hey, check it out, man. There is level 97 herb lore. Divine super combat. Is that the last thing that you unlock? No, I think there's one more thing after that. Okay, extended super anti-fires. It feels kind of weird. We're on like our fourth stack of herbs and we're already at 97 herb lore. I guess we're... I hope I didn't like severely miscalculate how much we needed. If I think back to previously when I've trained herblor on the account, I remember we were supposed to get 70 herblor for Song of the Elves and we ended up getting like 75 by accident. So it's definitely not out of the cards. I also did change up the fashionscape a little bit. I kind of like this look. This is like pretty... Pretty cool fashion, I think. The stupid wall is like really in the way. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is like probably the, the most fashionable thing I've ever put together. Yay. Well, looks like we are all done with another stack of potions. Super defense is now complete, which means we got the super attack and the super defense. So you know what that means. Next up is going to be our super strength. And then we move on to the super combats. Dude, look at this guy's fashion scape. I don't even know what the hell he's wearing. He said that he's like a banana for the monkey cape thing. It's like holding a giant banana. <laughs> it's pretty good. Looks like we got 1.1 million quorums we're dropping to this guy from the clan, so it doesn't go to waste. Kaz Balagain, you are the winner, my friend. Yet another big fat rip to the cash jack, and now we spend the next, like, one or two days making super strength potions, so... Okay, uh, I just have to share something really quick. We're almost done with these quorums, but someone just brought to my attention that uh, I, n I generally don't vote in polls, tend to not hold very many opinions, but apparently we had some stuff that passed recently that's kind of amazing. Should also and Iron Man players benefit from being able to store items inside of a looting bag when within the Ferex Enclave and the Wilderness, like other accounts will? I mean, like, I just want to talk about that real quick. <laughs> Uh, there's like countless times where I've had nightmares about going into level one wilderness and getting PK'd for the entire contents of the account in terms of all the items we have. And at this point, you know, that's somewhere around 1.7 bill or so. So the fact that we can now go to the Ferex Enclave, well, once this content's actually released, once the poll actually comes out, uh, I, I guess I won't have to have nightmares anymore about getting PK'd in level one wilderness. So that's like totally, totally game changing because that, I mean, it is like pretty unlikely to get PK'd, but like it does happen. People, it has happened to people. So wow, man, that is just, uh, that is really great. And I, I just, I don't know. I did not expect that to happen. So that's really, that's just really nice. And the other one was that we could actually store the Bow of Ferdinand in the stash unit. I'm pretty sure the master stash unit outside of Priftinus. There's like a stash unit for a crystal bow over there. I'm assuming that's what they're talking about because we do have the Blade of Salador currently and uh, that's kind of an untradeable item and it sort of just ultimately just chills out in the inventory. Like if we're ever going to do Commander Zilliana or Mage Bandos or anything like that, you know, like Tebow, Krill Tutsarath or Kriara, we're just always going to have the Blade of Salador in the inventory. But apparently now we can convert it into the Bow of Ferdinand, paying a couple crystal shards to do that, and then we can store it. So that is also really, really nice. So those are the two UAM specific poll questions that are just passed that are now going to be influencing the account significantly. So I just wanted to share that while we're doing this herbal or grind because that is literally amazing. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. We have now completed... Actually, wait, we need one more of these things. Now it's the real moment of truth. We have now completed all of our super attacks, all of our super defenses, and now all of our super strength potions. So you know what that means. It's time to move on to the super combats. And I have to admit, I actually completely forget how you're supposed to do this. Looks like we have 60k vials left over, which means we spend like over 100k on vials. So we'll drop those over to the GE noobs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So let's go grab our torstals and see if we can get the super combats going. So I'm pretty sure this took us like 30 minutes to figure out how to actually do this the first time we did it. And uh, I just happened to like figure out a brand new method for doing this. Uh, this is like a pretty known tedious activity to do on a UAM, but our method uh, revolves around the fact that we actually have 60,000 vials that we did not drop to the GE leeches that we picked back up because it actually makes this method entirely feasible. What we do is uh, what you just saw. And then after we did that, come over here, convert all of our potions, into two dose to get them noted back into four dose. Uh, we unnote an inventory of vials here and then we rinse and repeat. Yeah, this is a pretty chill method. It's pretty click intensive, which is not great. It's not exactly relaxing or anything like herb lore normally is, but it does get the job done and we don't have that many herbs to go through. I kind of forget how many you do go through using this method, probably somewhere around 300 an hour, maybe more, maybe like 400. So probably be here for the next like four or five hours but i am not really complaining to have like 2,000 super combats on the account is like 
pretty pretty damn useful for pretty much all end game major pvm content so we're gonna go ahead and do this for a while now so i'm trying to think of the method that i was using before i figured out this method like probably like 10 videos ago the first and only time we ever made super combats on this account i actually can't even figure out what i was doing i even went back and looked at the clip and i didn't that i didn't even say what i was doing in the clip so i was gonna like show how i was like so much better what we're doing now compared to before but i can't even figure out what we were doing before because it was so weird but just take my word for it this is like this is pretty nice honestly oh damn i did not notice that it was that close uh 98 herb lore wow that should be the level for extended super anti fires yep 98 herb lore man we are one level away from the big old 99 so let's go ahead and keep making these guys and then uh eventually i guess we'll be done making these guys and we can go make some other kinds of guys well boys it appears as though we've done it we've now completed all of our super combats 1800 and some change that is uh super nice i don't think uh i don't know if i'm ever going to be able to go through all of those we're done with Chambers of Zarek. Uh, maybe Theater of Blood? I don't know how many Super Combats we use, but I'm probably not going to do 1800 Theater of Blood. It does look like we had quite a bit of leftover Super Attack, Super Defense, and Super Strength. That is 9 mil. Jesus Christ, I did not think it was going to be that much. Um, so since we have Super Combats, we definitely do not have a need for any of these 9 mil worth of Super Sets here. So we are going to go ahead and drop those over to the main. If I'm dropping something that's like more than the cost of a bond, it pretty much is worth it kind of goes without saying uh just like a couple bonds there and uh i did decant all of our super combats into one dose so as you can see we've got 10,000 doses of super combats here which means we're up to 80 mil in potions so far and i say so far because we do have quite a bit of potions to go so we're gonna go ahead and get these prayer potions made and then we'll move on to the last stack of potions i think for this one since it's only 2,000 rainers I'm gonna go ahead and pay Zahir to clean them for like 400k and then another 200k to make them into the unfinished potions. Here is the last of the prayer potions. Looks like we got around 6,700 doses of prayer potion. That'll be useful for when we want to go slay some monsters and keep our prayer up. And like I mentioned, it is now time to go ahead and start the last stack of herbs. Probably gonna deal with this dwarf weed someday in the future, but not now. The last stack of herbs for us is the lantidimes and the potato cactus 7500 of these bad boys now for the real questions comment below if you guys are this kind of herb cleaner the left to right or the way that i usually do it is the vertical lines or my personal favorite the spaz this one doesn't really work too well I have been doing this my whole life this way, the vertical lines, and then like I started watching Twitch in like maybe, I don't know, 2015, and I noticed that a lot of the top players do it this way. I don't know why, if that's just like, if I'm sort of the oddity here, or if like, just a coincidence. These are the sorts of things that I think about when I'm cleaning herbs for hours. Well, we went ahead and cleaned all of the last of our lantidimes here. So we have 1,137 lantidimes left. So we'll go ahead and drop those over to the main now that the main is bonded up. And I was just curious, like the total value of all of our potions. So we took out the rest of our potions from Espori, got them in the looting bag now, and we are at 115 mil in potions. Not too bad. And the last big rip to the cash stack here, another 1.2 mil down the plug hole. I think I, uh, huh, hold on a sec. I don't know what we started with in terms of GP, but I'm pretty sure we just spent like seven or eight mil, like just making the unfinished potions on Zahir. Wow. I, I didn't even like that. I guess that kind of added up, didn't it? Wow. I was not expecting that to happen. So let's go ahead and get started on these magic potions here. And I imagine that the next clip will probably be us getting 99 herb lore. So let's get to it, shall we? Here we go, guys. This is the final inventory of potions. We got the music on. Hey, level fucking 99 herb lore, dude. Oh widely regarded as the most notorious skill to get level 99 on an iron man and we did it on an ultimate iron man so we're even better than an iron man 90 fucking nine man extended super anti-fire mix definitely gonna be making a lot of those oh god that is that is so beautiful dude um 
Let's go ahead and buy the cape while we're over here, shall we? 99k sounds good to me. Oh yeah, that is the stuff right there. You can like search this thing for this, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Additionally, like one of the cool parts about this pet is that you can just like metamorphosize it to like match any sort of like gear. So this is green and that's green. So we're in the green with that one. Dude, hell yeah. Um, we're 99 herbaler now. So uh, actually, you know what? I just realized we actually didn't even get the 99 fletching cape. Let's just go grab that real quick. I'm not even sure if the 99 fletching we got is going to be in this same video. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so there's two 99s. I'm pretty sure we'll have both of these 99s in the same video. So now we have both the capes to show for it. Pretty sure you can search this for a rune crossbow or something, right? And a mithril grapple, nice. Might actually use that if we ever go to like Armadil, right? I don't know, Seem seems pretty reasonable to me. And now it's time to put these on the cape rack and probably never use them again. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of these 2000 magic potions. May as well, right? Hey, what a nice gift for 99 herbal or from Ertiza coming in with the free bond. I've been getting a lot of these lately, but I don't have the recorder up usually, but this guy gets a shout out in the video. Oh shoot, you know what? I actually forgot to do the emote. This emote is actually pretty cool. It's like, I don't know. For some reason, I like this mode a lot, especially this part. It's all like sparkly and stuff. It's pretty cool. We finished making all of our magic potions here. So we're going to go ahead and drop these to the main. Looks like it's worth about 580k. So I don't see why not. And it looks like we got up to 13.4 million herbal or XP, which is probably where we're going to be for a long time. I thought maybe we'd be able to get to the top page for the Ultimate Iron Man for Herblore, but it looks like we're rank number 86 at 13.4 million XP, and it looks like we're not front page for anything else. Our closest one is fishing at 21 million XP. And with that, guys, we are officially done. Oh my god. We are officially done with the Herblore skilling grind, and... On top of that, we are also done extracting all of the materials that we want to use from Chambers of Zarek. The only things left at this point are these ores that I still am not sure what I want to do with yet. These dragon bones, which we're waiting for the UAM death mechanic update to come out so we can use those on the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness. And these dwarf weeds, which we do not have any wines of Zamorak to use with, so we'll probably wait later on in the for when we do something like grind out the Calphite Queen, or potentially even grind out Krill Tutsaroth. Man, this is just really nice. We have cleared up all of our space. We could probably fit most of this in the inventory and we have like an entirely empty looting bag so this is just like insanely good dude speaking of krill tutsaroth i am pretty sure i am ready to go do a bunch of pvm and i'm about 99 percent sure that's what i'm gonna be doing in the next video that's right boys you heard it here first we are gonna do some god wars dungeon so feel free to like the video it really 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 helps out with the channel getting it recommended out there subscribe if you want to see me bring the tebow to god wars and as always guys thank you for watching stay safe out there take care until next time i love you bye